bottles of water already. As you can see, the water bottle is nearly empty. I try and get through at least three of these a day, so 2.4 liters of water. So I've just made Will's lunch. It is got a bed of lettuce and spinach, some cucumber, capsicum, you can see a bit of carrot, avocado, tomato, chili flakes, whole grain, mustard, a little bit of brown rice, salt and pepper, and a squeeze of lemon juice. Oh, and a few sunflower and pumpkin seeds in there. He's gonna add some tuna to this at lunchtime and a drizzle of olive oil. And voila, there's lunch. So now that I've got your attention about what I eat in a day, I just wanted to explain to you the principles and protocols that I follow and how this helps me thrive every day. So I follow something called the ketogenic diet or the keto diet. It isn't really a diet, so it's a little bit misleading. You put your body into a state called ketosis. You consume foods that are low in carbohydrate and high in good fat. A ketogenic diet is meant to be 75% of calories coming from good fats, 20% of calories coming from protein, and 5% of calories coming from carbohydrates. I track my macros every day using a tool called MyFitnessPal, and it pretty much tracks everything and spits out the percentages of your macronutrients, which is the carb, proteins, and fat. So people might be asking why the ketogenic diet Initially, I did lose probably about five or six kilos, and there have been so many other benefits. Improved mental clarity, so I don't have as much brain fog anymore. I can concentrate a whole lot better. My blood glucose level is so much more stable. I don't find that my cravings um, are like this throughout the day. I'm fuller for longer, more satisfied. I'm not really looking for extra food coming from someone who is a constant snacker. Like if I'm at home, I'm constantly snacking and I'm never snacking on bad foods. It is always great foods like nuts and seeds, but I find that I snack and I don't realize how much of a snack I'm eating. Like I'm probably consuming a lot more than I really realize. So the way you can test um, whether you are in ketosis or not is by using some urine strips which can be purchased from a good pharmacy or even just Priceline. I think I need to enter ketosis, our blood has to be at 0.5 millimoles per litre. Recommendation or advice to anyone wanting to start the keto diet is one, do your own research. Get online, get a little bit more of a feel for what the keto diet is. Two, I would probably download the MyFitnessPal and I would try to begin with. And it's a good way to feel accountable to what you're putting in your body. I'm now gonna be showing you what I eat across a day. I wouldn't say this is a normal day for me only because I do eat brunch out and I normally wouldn't during the week, but it just shows you can implement this diet wherever you are. I find breakfast is probably the easiest to implement this diet only because you can always like build your own bowl, have eggs your way rather than choosing straight off a menu um, and that way you know exactly what you're eating. But please watch the rest of this video and enjoy. Just got a little lemon and ginger tea. So this is my favorite one. I'll generally have one of these after dinner at a night, at night time. Okay, first things first, about to grab a coffee with a girlfriend. I'm heading to Tall Timber, Ian Pran. I just had a long black with a dash of almond milk. I always like to ask the cafe what kind of almond milk they use because sometimes the almond milks are filled with sweeteners and other ingredients. So I've got the mushrooms, the scrambled eggs made with coconut oil and no milk, avocado, and then we've got the chili scrambled eggs here with some feta, and I think there's some rye toast underneath. Yum. I'm just back from lunch, and this is the second water bottle for today. This will be 1.6 liters when I've finished this, so I'm on track to having at least two and a half liters by the end of today. Uh, 
So not much thought has gone into my dinner tonight because I'm not going to be home. I'm going to be at my internship, so I'll probably take dinner and eat it with me around 7 p.m. So what I was thinking of doing was using some zucchinis and the spiralizer and creating some zucchini noodles, tossing through some spinach, some avocado, heaps of greens, a bit of chili, lemon, and I've already got some cooked chicken thighs, so I'll just chop that in, create like a big yummy salad and put it in a little Tupperware container and eat it a little bit later tonight. So this took me honestly five minutes to make. So I've got some chicken thigh, avocado, chili, coriander, the zucchini noodles, capsicum, plenty of spinach, jalapenos, and I'm about to drizzle some garlic oil, olive oil, salt and pepper, just to top it off. And voila. Dinner is served. So just a little update, it's nearly 3 p.m. and I've had one main meal and a small snack after the gym this morning. I'm feeling really satisfied and really content with all the foods that I've eaten today. Foods I have eaten are really high in fat, quite low in carb, and I've exercised and haven't felt the urge to have any snacks in between. gotten home for my internship I've already had dinner but I feel like something pretty sweet so I'm gonna make a raw cookie dough of the almond meal, one tablespoon of the coconut, this is a tablespoon of the protein powder, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, cute are these babushka teaspoons, a handful of cacao nibs, half a tablespoon of peanut butter, and one teaspoon of melted coconut oil. So this recipe doesn't actually, oh you can't see my bun, it looks like I'm bald. It was so delicious, this will be gone before you know it. Mm. 